two years ago, two, two years ago from today of her being 21, she met you. If she's 21 and she met you two years ago, that means she was 19, not even 18. She was 19. So that was the first thing that was like, well, how exactly. did she... How are and you I'm confirming she was really 19 because that's what he right. told me. So that's exactly so, what he told me. So I said, well, how is it that you are saying he, he messed around with you when you were underage if this was two years ago and you was 19? So then, and I was like, and how was you 19 still in high school? These are literally questions that I'm asking this man under my Fufu page. He then says, I... And I got the screen record. He then says that he was not, he graduated from high school when he was 19. Yeah. So I was like, okay, so you graduated from high school when you was 19? Okay, cool. They you 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 failed the class. Okay. In the back of my head again, I'm like, well, either way, you still motherfucking 19 years old, bitch. You're still over 18. You still grown. But then I watched him, so I'm still gathering all the tea, gathering all the tea, because I'm, you know, I'm not gonna start a show. I'm not gonna talk about. Let's talk about it today without having the factual receipt. So then I hear him then come back and apologize and say, "No, it was 2019, and I was 17 going on 18." Sir, you can't be 17 and 18, okay? And I don't give a fuck. I can't if Charlie him when he was saying that. Like, I, I don't give a fuck if Charlie fucked you stupid on your 18th birthday, bitch. If he fucks you stupid on the day of your birthday, bitch, you were still grown. Not only that, you said you didn't meet him until 2019. I mean, not 2019. You didn't meet him until June of your of after after school was over with. And you were 18. You said it out your mouth. So what is his fucking argument? Why would he get on here and start saying that you molested him if he said this? No, I didn't. So Charlie was out of high school. You were still in high school. So basically, he was at the high school. Exactly. And this ugly ass bitch, Lo, she just want to be involved in just about any motherfucking thing. But didn't want to come outside when I pulled up. That yeah. bitch is scared. That's her what year, year, that same year, right? Turning nine. Hold on, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be irritated with y'all. Y'all. I literally graduated when I was 19. Let me play that one more time. I like really retarded. And I feel like, why do we gotta explain basic math to y'all? He said his initial meeting with him was his senior year of high school. He said he was around 17. How the fuck is you around 17 if you mm. graduated when you was 19 and you was a fucking senior? Right. Thank Liar, you. shut your stupid ass up. Bitch, you not even making no sense. He just said... He was a senior. You just said I, she, her ugly ass out of her own mouth said, you know people graduate when they're 18 and 19, right? Like y'all upsetting me. And then he just said he was a senior year in high school. So now if he a senior year in high school and he graduated when he was 19, how the fuck did you push his, his age back two years? That part. That don't even make sense. Thank you. He said his initial meeting with him was his senior year of high school. He said he was around 17, turning 18, his senior year of high school. And I graduated. Well, when I said when I said I said I said All of y'all bitches, Trina B included, you old stupid ass bitch. Y'all are fucking retarded. Y'all didn't gave this man three different ages. 17, 18, and fucking 19 in the same sentence. What the, what it is, is y'all are so thirsty to take somebody down 
Y'all are so thirsty to get somebody fucking fired. Y'all are so thirsty to motherfucker have something to talk about. Bitch, that y'all will sit up and entertain and ascertain just about any motherfucking thing. Okay? And so can't no bitch sit up and let me let, let me let him finish. And then Charlie, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you go to talk about one thing because this is what's really pissing me off right here. This was actually this was my junior year, and I know this for fact because I was plugging hard for my senior year. So it was definitely my junior year, 2019. I was about to, and it was around June. Um, and I just, yeah, I just turned 18. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait. Did y'all hear that? Let me replay it. Yes, take that back. Just, yeah, I just turned 18. Yeah, yeah, I just turned. Oh, one more time. How old was you, Miss Mamas? I was about to, and it was around June. And I just, yeah, I just turned 18. Yeah, yeah, I just turned 18. Interesting. You just turned what age? You just turned 18? So when he said that, this is what I this is why I don't fuck with these weird ass bitches. When he said that out of his mouth, that he had just turned 18, you know what every bitch on this motherfucking panel should have did? They should have said, Ooh. Oh, well, bitch, you was a grown. Or X you was wrong. Is loser T. They entertain is so loser, but okay. Like. But this is what they went along and said. But look, hold on. Y'all can say that certain shit was legal all you want to, but morally, is it okay? Right. Now, morally, now morally, it's not right. Girl, get y'all dirty, dusty, miss motherfucking liar, bitch. You done had 13, 14, 15 abortions, bitch. Morally, you're a fucking murderer. Morally, bitch, that's not right. How the fuck you gonna say somebody having sex at with a grown ass nigga is morally not right? Shut your stupid ass up, bitch. You damn near 25, 26, and you'd have 18, 19 motherfucking abortions, bitch. You've been getting fucked in your motherfucking ass since you was 12. Okay? Morally, that's not right. The fuck is you talking about? Morally, go find who your baby daddy is, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Chris. Woo, this cash. Let me put you in the big box because these bitches is retarded. Um, so let's just fast forward to today. And I want to say this from me to you. If somebody came on this app where I'm making sixteen twenty four thousand dollars a month, right? Girl, please don't keep dropping no motherfucking uh, dragons in my comments, uh, especially if you ain't got no motherfucking Charlie uh, what's name on next to a bitch. She's gonna get it when I'm done with this interview, bitch. Okay? Wait, when you <laughs> what you mean when you done? What we, what we done at the end? I'm mm -mm, gonna I gotta know you ain't gonna run off. Like, it's at least in half or something. Know, you ain't gonna run off. You might take the dragon and motherfucking fly. You know I'm not gonna run off. Don't I'm be not fair. one of those bitches. You gotta send me. You know I'm not gonna. Know you know I'm not gonna fucking run. Send me my deposit because I don't want you to play in my face. But I got receipts. I got texts. We're gonna get into deposit. all of it. I see you. Deposit. Then you know we can. No, you know, you money deposit. make money make me get messy. You know how it is, Milan. <laughs> no, I definitely see you. Oh, Ari here too. Ari, hey, I know. Baby. Stay, stay here, Ari, because you gonna come up too. Hold on. Frequently used. Look, and y'all playing on my phone, bitch. I have an iPhone. That's my business line, and I have it sent to what's that shit called when you have it silenced to unknown callers, bitch. That shit don't phase me. Y'all not finna interrupt shit. So he leaks my number, bitch. That's so childish. The boy did. Yeah, like one of my numbers. Loser ass bitch. Yeah, a business line. I don't have to put it on D and D. He did it by mistake. Like he's so that's crazy. My number done been leaked by mistake five times. Why the fuck is it not? How old are you? I'm 26. We was 24, but we're gonna get into all of that. You weak as hell. Okay. Your mama weak and your daddy weak, bitch. 
bring mm. me Oh, I forgot I got the gun, bitch. I'll be forgetting. I'll be so chill with you, trove. Hold on, hold on, Charlie. I get you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That boy is slow. I mean, I see now, y'all. So know. here's here's my thing. Before I um bring up, here's what the fuck is going on. There you go, bitch. Got you. You why they we about to get the tea? They said they getting you arrested. Okay, I'm supposed to be scared. What Medea say? I ain't scared of the popo. Tell the popo. Um, I see you. Hey, Charlie. Hey, baby. Okay, here we go. Coronation. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that go your deposits. Thank you. Oh, um, thank you. Yes. Period. Um. So, I just want to say this really quick to everybody that's watching. If y'all was at y'all job where you making 16 to $24,000 a month, right? And a person comes on here. We all know why Tay is no longer on the app. Okay? We all know how Rick Rosa, the same bitch that's over there with that fucking nigga Aylin or whatever his name is, she's the same bitch that got Tay kicked off of Vigo, along with Jason Lee. That was five, you short bus driving ass bitch. Shut the fuck up, ho. Um, we all know that this is the no, same motherfucker. It was for, but it was for. I okay. think. Wasn't it for y'all? I don't know. Um, we both know that Jason Lee is the same bitch that got motherfucking take kicked off of the app. Okay. We both know that Rick Rose is the same bitch that got motherfucking take kicked off of the app. And y'all sitting over there conspiring with these type of bitches and spreading a fake ass motherfucking storyline. The first thing th those type of bitches is going to try to do is try to get this nigga kicked the fuck off of the app. Off of a lie. Exactly. So what the fuck would you do if you in the same city with the bitch? That was trying to get you fired from what you making your money for. Bitch, Bigo is Charlie, you got another job? No, like I make my money off of it. I'm a live streamer. <laughs> broadcaster. Thank you, baby. I'm a broadcaster. Full time. So can you just tell us about your, your experience with this person? How did you meet? He told you he was 19, he told you he was 20, he told you he was 18. What happened when y'all like first met? Unfortunately, this was a situation when I wasn't even a Big O host. It was like two and a half years ago. I came on Big O two years ago. So um, what happened was, I don't know if y'all know the app, Grindr, G-R-I-D-I-N-D-R. So it's a hookup app, y'all. So basically, when you're on that app, you already know what you're getting into. So he made it seem like the other night with Leah that it was a situation where he was manipulated or some type of bullshit because Leah was in his ear. So anyways, mm -hmm. we both met up on Grindr. Um, we linking on messaging on Grindr. Um, his age said 19 and he told me he was 19 as well. So anyways, he gave me his address. It was quick and short. I'm a very direct when it's about like one night stands and shit. I'm a very direct, cut and dry type of person. If you a hoe, you a hoe. I'ma put you. Mm -hmm. I'ma put you in a hoe zone. Like we ain't really having conversations about the future, about who the fuck you are, whatever. Only your age and the important shit. If you STD free, you know shit like that. So anyway, mm -hmm. whoop -de -whoop, he gave me his location. I pulled up to his house. I wasn't able to go in his house because he stayed with his people at the time. So he ended up sucking me, like giving me head in the car, in my car. So. That's pretty much what it was, Milan. The first two times, he gave me some head, he gave me some throat, and I smoked half of the blunt, and I gave him the other half. Like he took the other half of him. He just wanted so to smoke. So he gave you he shit. gave you head twice in one day, or y'all met him multiple. It was it was two times, um, like in like week duration. Like you get what I'm saying? Like yeah. the first time, and then two weeks later. I mean, no, a week 
or two later. I can't remember the exact time frame, but it was close. And when you met him, only two even times. though technically he was 19 years old, um, he's yes. now saying that he was 18, he was which is still legal. What age did he say he was when you met him? 19. So mathematically, if he's 21 and this happened when he said it happened, he would have been 19. Um, but then he tried to lower his age down to 18. Um, yep. And he told the police 16 today. So. Yeah. So either either way, um, he was he was an adult. He was a 19 when he told he told you he was 19. Not to mention right. to be on these apps, you guys, especially these hookup apps, before you sign on to the app, it asks you your age of consent. The right. age of consent and the legal age to even be on the app is 18 years old. Okay. So he had already been lying to even get on this app if he was if well if he was under 18. Okay, so um, you hook up with him. You hooked up with him twice. Did you notice when you were talking to him that maybe um, he wasn't the brightest light on the block, or you just kind of took it as you know he's just a young a young little sissy boy? No, like we didn't have no conversations. I guess people don't understand like what a hookup is. Like it was like a one night stand. He was a like to me like just a hoe like sucking my dick like he was 19 i was 24 people keep making it seem like i'm old or something bitch i'm 26 now it's two years ago so he was 19 i was 24. he it was like a one night stand type of thing but i ended up like i said linking up with him that second time so i just don't understand like how he's trying to flip the narrative like today is 16 like you played a clip he said he was 18 and in real life he told me he was 19. And I have another clip of him saying how my dick was clean. I smell good. I didn't have any STDs, nothing like that resembled an STD, but all of a sudden, okay, well, we're going to the story. Oh, okay. Definitely, my bad. See, yeah, you got a guy. I me, mean, I ain't used to interviews. Yes. I'm used to being an interviewer, bitch. So this is weird. <laughs> um, so number one, let me just break this down to the 2,000 people here. Number one, he was lying. He has been caught up in literally about three lies. The the main lie that I literally saw with my own two eyes was the fact that he said he graduated from high school when he was 19 and he messed around with him when he was 19. That was the first thing he said. He said it was two years ago. Yes, he first said I was 21 years old. This happened two years ago. He was 19, bam. Then I went on this, I, I asked him under my Fufu page, I said, well, you was 19 and still in high school? He was like, yeah, I was 19 because I graduated late. They pushed, they held me back a year. I said, okay, cool. Still going along with this fake ass story with him. So then mm -hmm. he turned back around and said, when he got to Laya's panel, said he messed around with Charlie at that when he was in ju a junior in high school. So when you was a junior in high school, you still was 18 because you graduated at 19. Okay. Laya, Trina B, and motherfucking Brandon Keys, you make they dick get on hard because they allowed to sit on a panel. And this boy has said three different ages. Yes, sir. Three Milan different on ages at one time. 17. 18 and 19. He said three different ages in one sentence. Okay? So that was the first lot. Why aren't y'all grown as men, especially people like Trina, especially people like uh Rick Rosta, um, Brandon Keys, who have been lied on by people? Why wouldn't y'all dig into this conversation? instead of perpetuating this conversation. I know y'all don't like Charlie. We all get it. But to say somebody's a pedophile, a rapist, or giving out a certain STD, y'all know which one it is, is completely disgusting and is wrong because it can actually fuck up somebody's life and livelihood, okay? So moving on yeah. from that, he then said when he hooked up with you at the ripe age of 
19, 18, 19, 17, whatever age, because the age of consent in Georgia anyway is 16. But let's just go with his three ages that he was. And you only hooked up with him twice in the same week when he was 19. Um, he then goes on along to say that he saw like a spot on your on your body. I don't know where he saw the spot. I don't know if it was on his on your thigh, on your stomach, on your head. He said he saw a lesion of some sorts. You saw the lesion allegedly, and you still fucked or sucked. This just don't even make it. Just don't make sense. But not on what way. Said I was clean. You, you saw you saw the lesion on him, and you still sucked. Not once, but twice. Which one is it? Charlie, play your clip of him saying how clean your dick was and how clean you was and all of that. Okay, Milan, just to be fair, because I don't want to pay attention to the comments, can you give one of my people a go? Because I just... Tell me the name, who you want. Sage, comment, or somebody, one of y'all, one of my admins, can y'all comment? The first person that comment, y'all get it. <clears throat> oh, there she goes, Sage. You see her? Sage, Sage, yeah, okay. Yeah, just give it a her. The Jamaican flag, to, um, right? Yeah. I don't have to All focus right. on the comedy. Hold on, y'all. He's going to play that. Because this bitch is just... Her story keeps changing. It keeps motherfucking... It's not making no sense. It's all over the place. I don't get how you can say you've seen some spot, bitch. Let me tell y'all something. I will hook... If I hook up with a nigga and I pull down their pants and I see a bump, bitch, it's a wrap. And it could be right, a hair exactly. bump. It can be a, I don't give a fuck what it is, bitch. If I see anything that ain't right in the pubic area, baby, it's being paid. The session is over. Sorry, Stink. Come back when that clear up. Right. Like, I wish I could have, because even my sister at the time, I was like, I was telling her about. Okay, hold on. I'm putting it on my TV. <clears throat> Yeah, you already make sure if it's a Milan, if it's a Milan, just mute them. Don't kick them, um, Sag. Just oh, yeah, mute them on. Sag, just make, yeah, don't, I meant to say that, Sag. If they are Milan, you know, you got to keep it fair over here. Just mute them, like he said. Okay, so, um, Milan, just mute me whenever you want to intercept, because I may not hear okay. it. I'm going to be back and forth okay. rolling. I need to go roll up. Okay, let okay. me, I don't know which part. Let me make sure. It's kind of like right here. No. But you can mute me. Okay, I, I want to hear it. Wanted to get that dick sucked again. So, I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe I'm tripping, but it, it doesn't really make sense to me. Girl, no Chef and Charlie talk a lot of shit about homeless people. You go there and watch my mother. Oh, and I heard him saying that, like, literally just in his panel, the other, the other day he was doing cheats on. He was like, oh, bitch, you were walking. You are walking like you didn't have a problem. Like he loves talking about people, and I'm like, people should not be your content. Talk about yourself. Let people know how I set you up before baby. Tell them y'all nah, giving him content for himself, Ooh. and I like that for him. I mean, that's why I should type without saying who likes to drag other people to make a I love that for her. Well, now I, I like you know like how when celebrities have to like come out and put out statements and let people know like okay, well here's the situation. I hope now he feels like. He's more involved than me, though. I really hope he... Because now that I'm blocked, I really don't really give a fuck, like, how he feels about me. I really didn't want to suck his dick the way he was coming at me in these text messages, because I'm like, he's like, well, like, you didn't think, like, ask me how I've been, you know, how, where I've been in life, how I've been like, You don't give a fuck about me. You just want some dick stuff. And baby, I just want some weed. But then again, I got I fucked my plug. I didn't need your beat. Like, I don't know. It was not that deep. I had Taylor for it last night. It was pretty good. He's not ashamed of you. I hope. I hope not. I miss this yeek. Just not. Just. Just saying. <laughs> just say that. If you miss the yeek, just say that. No, I, it was. It was big. I did want to say it again. I could probably get forgiven though because it was somebody that was going around saying that Charlie didn't say right and Charlie had coast in Virginia. And. Um, that when Charlie had that meeting, he was there and he fucked at the party. So Charlie is forgiven. So there's a chance you might get to suck it again. It's not no time. So, so Charlie, so Charlie, 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 
Charlie blocked him, so he's in his feelings. He seemed like Charlie tight, no shame. He's really like, so Charlie, baby, Charlie not lying. And I was like, why are you playing me, booty? Because I'm not no ugly bitch. You're not going to act like you didn't get your dick sucked up by me. I sure did. Pick me up and everything. I'm fine. It's you know, he's gonna let you suck it again eventually. He's gonna let you suck it again eventually. He's gonna let you suck it again eventually. It's not, 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 it's now she knows I, because if Charlie is writing that image like he's this clean boy with like he definitely does he definitely just be helping these niggas out because he I, I would say that he did not have no motherfucking real um, respect for me as a hoe I've had niggas respect me way more better um, stop selling yourself cheap girl what do you mean we suck. We have sex for free. I hate when people. You said you want to suck his dick again. I would. I would. I easily. Yeah, I'm 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 I don't want to suck it again, but he would not let me suck it. Don't want to get anyone picture. No, that nigga is too big. It's just something to play with. I need type shit, you know. Yes, yes, yes. He feels like Charlie was weird and Charlie wasn't you know, passionate enough, and Charlie also um, blocked him because he wouldn't. You want me to pause it right here? Or keep it going? Keep it going? Okay. Yes. Because I came over here talking about this. I want Charlie to know, like, I'm going to be him. I'm going to be him. I just didn't want him to feel like. You just want to tell the business? Yeah. Because I just want people to know I'm trying to sell me money. All these bitches call me ugly on the app. Well, the top bitch on this app was me. One of the top bitches. I'm going to say top bitch. Girl, I'm top bitch. Here I am pointing at the thing like I'm on your panel. Mute, mute her up. Okay. Okay. Okay, baby. At this point, I don't even have to get to the... At this point, this bitch is completely a sociopath. Okay? Girl... Is giving me because she has said earlier you were obsessed, but the way she was talking about the dick, I'm sitting here like, girl, do I need to get a thick bitch? Do I need she was gung ho about the dick, how big it is, how pretty it was, how good it is. Oh, she was she was over here. I'm gagging at this bitch. I'm fucking gagging. So the bitch the whole time really wants some more dick. Yep. Whole time you she heard it. she wants some more. Yep. She talking about she came she and then are you some type of prostitute? Are you like some type of weed prostitute, bitch? Because you keep talking about as long as he got some weed, I can suck some dick. As long as he bring the weed. Exactly, Mala. That part. Oh, listen, I was gonna be fair. Okay, tell Trin and B don't touch my um people. None of my angels. She know not get to kicked. touch your people. She if touch, I see one of my angels get kicked, it's gonna be a problem, Trin and B. You better not touch him. Cause she bitch, know not I ain't touch kick nobody's you. angels. Those are your supporters. You on a panel? She know not to do that. She not. She not crazy. Um. So, my second question is: So you see this person who you who clearly was some jacko off of the app. You nutted in this bitch throat twice. She wants some more. She she talked about how she wants some more. She says she's twenty one years old. Uh, she said this. You said it happened two years ago. She said it happened two years ago. She was nineteen at the time. So now. You see this same person now getting on panels lying, saying that you messed around with her when she was 17. Mm -hmm. Trying to just like completely eradicate your reputation. You 
No, you can't even sue this bitch. What can you do? She ain't got no money. You can't sue her. You can't give her a gag order. You can't do nothing to these weird ass bitches that get on this app for clout and do this clout chasing shit. And so now when you go, you do your due diligence and you your your twin knocks her. Okay? Your twin goes and knocks her. Now everybody mad at you. No. No. And we're gonna get into what led up to that. We definitely are, period. So um First of all, let's start with these lesions she said you had that she said when she, now that she's trying to build a storyline, she said you had, but just right now she was saying how good the dick was and how big the dick was. How did that make you feel when she started lying, talking about you had some type of STD or STI or insinuating you had an STD or STI? It's just the easiest read that you can go with, unfortunately, but it says a lot about him. Um, oh, can y'all hear me? Okay. We can hear you. Thank it you, Monty. It says a lot about... Hmm? I was saying we can hear you. I said thank you, Monty. Okay. So it says a lot about him and who he is. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that you keep switching up, you said I was clean. You said you can't wait to see me again. But the gag is the reason why he said the lesion comments is because I gagged him. He didn't know I was in the window. We recently <laughs> came back into contact. I met him off... Um, he was on Bigo. I was gagged. Like, he was in my live saying, oh, Charlie, the one that lived in Augusta. I was like, oh, shit. I clicked his profile. I'm like, oh, shit. He was like, slide in my DMs. Let's link back up. So I did just mm -hmm. that. I slid in his DMs, slid him my number. We started texting. I'm going to eventually get into the text messages Text messages whenever you're ready. But anyway, okay. in the text messages, he slid me his Addy, his um Airbnb address. And a gag is this is the Airbnb that he stayed at two weeks ago, not the same Airbnb to clarify. So okay. in that um text, he said he dropped his Addy, then he went live. He didn't know I was in the window, Milan. He's new to Big O, so he don't know how that worked. So mm -hmm. he thought it was just 200 people in his live, but bitch, I was in the window and I actually, oh my God. Hold on, wait. Milan, Go. Let Milan. me say this. Trina, hold on. Trina wait. B. You're going to have. You gonna have, you gonna have Trina, no, I just. Trina B is really about to irritate me. Okay, so let me also say this. To I Trina don't want B. him. Like, I really. Trina B got to. He got to shut the fuck up. You can have admin, but shut the fuck up. Don't be putting nothing across the screen. Okay, so look. So let me say this to Trina B real fast. Trina, the difference between you sitting on the panel and listening to somebody say something, I sat on the panel and I gathered my receipts. There's a difference between receipts and non-receipts, okay? I literally watched this boy lie myself. Is nothing Charlie can sit up here and tell me, Trina? Is nothing Charlie can sit up here and tell me that's gonna make me believe this person was a liar or a truth teller? I have to see it for myself. I watched him lie. So you can't say Charlie's lying when I didn't caught this man up in three, four lies myself. And you know, I, I'm the type of bitch that would have loved to sit up here and go back and forth and say this, this, and that if it was true. Right. Okay? But go ahead, Charlie. Show us the receipts. I muted, I muted, I muted Trina for it. No, Come thank on. you for being fair, Milan. No, sir. I feel safe over here. Cause I was nervous coming over in your house. I didn't know if you was gonna be unbiased or you being unbiased. Okay. No, I'm definitely unbiased. So, and it's the truth. Period. Go okay, ahead. So back to what I was saying. So we were talking about the text messages. So let me let me recap that part. So in the text message, he dropped me his Addy. He didn't know nothing about the window. So mm -hmm. I was in his window child. And in the window, guess what he said, y'all? It was 200 people. He was like, y'all, I'm about to go link up with a broadcast. So he's actually on the way. I'm about to give him time. Like basic sloppy toppy head. And he was like, it rhymes with barley. Mm. Bitch, that's a dead giveaway. He said the dude so she in the was morning that so four trying to get clout. And if y'all notice, whenever he brings up, thank you, baby. Whenever he brings up Charlie, he calls Charlie famous. So that's how you also know that this bitch is a clout chaser because she she's she's been saying every time she goes live, you know, I don't really know how to deal with famous people and famous this and famous. She keeps saying it. So in her mind, she's thinking she's about to hook up with a famous person that got famous since the last time she fucked them. Okay? So, 
Yes, she keeps saying it. Shayla, Shayla saying I'm it. not famous. I never said I was famous. That's what he said, Joe. So I know I'm not famous. But yeah, show the um the the text message. You can show the text messages. Okay, so whenever you're ready, I would screen share, but I already got them right here. I was prepared. Hold on. So let me just get my phone and flip the screen. Hold on. Oh, you wasn't shading me? Okay, bro. I ain't know. All right. Mm, flip. Okay. Can y'all see this? And look what I <laughs> look what I saved his name as. Do you see that? Jay Head. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> that's the ultimate nigga move. No shade. Um, Tuesday, November 29th. So this was just like last week or a couple weeks ago. He was like, yo. You still in Augusta? I said, shit, what you, and you notice he double text me. Let's talk about it. 11.25 a.m., um, paid it. He texts me at 3.05. Then I finally respond at 5.19. Shit, horny, what you doing? You still there? What's up? He said, yeah, I am, and laughed my ass off so far. I mean, I can suck you up, but you know you too damn big for me to be taking it. So I thought I had lesions, Milan. Why? Mm. You said, I can suck you up. But Look at the date. Pull that date down. That says November 29th. Okay. okay. November 29th. It, right. And I said, yeah, I want that throat. And you want to smoke. I can pull up now. He said, laugh my ass off. You know me so well. All right. I'm walking back to the place now. And this is when he got on live, y'all. This is when he got on fucking live and he started pillow talking. And that turned me off. And I blocked him after he sent me his address right here. Y'all see the address? Okay, mm -hmm. he don't say there no more. Anyways, y'all see what I'm saying? Okay, boom. So that's when I blocked him. And um, he got mad and he decided to start waking up lies on me. So, yeah. The way Milan is, the way Milan is defending him is crazy. Yeah, the way I'm defending the truth, the way, don't kick keys. I'm gonna give him an ad because he, he does, yeah. Oh, okay. So clearly y'all have right there, A, that this person not only is willing to hook up with the alleged person that did X, Y, and Z, um, he's excited and ecstatic about it, sending his address, texting them, double texting, also going on motherfucking page and saying how big the dick was. We just watched the whole video of how he said the dick was clean, the dick was big, he wants some more. Okay, Charlie deleted mess. Deleted what messages? I didn't delete these messages. Actually, show more than what he shows. So, how did I delete? I show more text messages than he actually showed. So, I'm confused. Um, I I don't even I don't even um I don't even I don't even understand what like what part of what part of this. Milan, he kicked Keith. Well, I tried to give him admin first. It was too late. If he did, bitch, it, you know, what y'all want me to do? I mean, Milan, to be fair, I did give. No, 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 Milan. Uh -uh. We, <clears throat> I was neutral with Trina B. I can't be neutral with Brandon. I'm sorry. Like, I get it. Y'all got an alliance, but. Yo, it's too late. Yeah. Please don't reset for him. Please. He kicked Tom. Trina kicked oh, Trina Tommy, kicked. so that's my get back. I feel like justified for my auntie getting kicked. So. <laughs> y'all is, is, is y'all are hell. Um. Okay. Um. So, can we fast forward to how you got the information of where he lived or where he was staying was Ari. Did Ari give you his address or no. did somebody else? Give you? No, not at all. You want me to tell you the truth? T? Yes. I want, I okay. want the truth. I don't want no lies. You so know, the, we trying to the, operate tease, the, the tease is Milan. Cause you know, you already know, no, I, you know, back in, I got to tell you, but, um, honestly, Augusta Small Milan and Leah leaked my address and I just, you know, I had to mm -hmm. duck and, you know, 
go do my thing, you know, go to an Airbnb in Augusta so small. And it just happened to be um, in the city and boom, we in an Airbnb and I was in the room next to his. It's a share. It was a shared Airbnb. You can share. You can have a, your own room, basically. So let me tell y'all why I'm kind of on the fence. I, I kind of believe him. You know, initially I'm over here rolling my eyes, but he had all these bags and shit. Okay. Char so Milano's, I'm smart though. Let's be real though. Obviously, if you, let's be real y'all. Certain things, you just have to have common sense. That's just what it is. That's all I'm gonna say. So, you know, he had all these bags. So, are you friends with Ari? No, we just became cool. Like, we don't got no beef, but um, we cool. Like, we getting to know each other. Like, it's it's a um, blossoming situation shit. Like, friendship. Like, I mean, acquaintance shit, I guess. Okay, so Ari told me that she gave you his, um, his, um, not his Airbnb, but she said she gave you his storage information. Did she give you his storage information? Definitely. I definitely do. Thank you, Zoe, babe. Yes, she, I definitely have the storage, but, um, yeah. Okay. Um, so the young lady by the name of, hold on. And make sure if you want to play the fight, you can play it on your live. Or Mila you Callwood, she's the owner of the Airbnb. She said a gentleman by the name of Darius paid for and reserved the Airbnb. Who is Darius? Mm -hmm. Interesting, huh? Darius is Darius, Milano. So is Darius Ari? Is Darius Bling Bling? Who exactly is Darius? Because your name is Charles. Hmm. I just know Darius is Darius, honestly. So I don't. Um, Darius is Darius. I don't really know what the other name Darius goes by, but Darius goes by multiple names. But the name that we know is Darius. Yeah, we hmm. call him D Block Milan. Hmm. Um. Can any does does anybody know um Ari's government name? I thought Ari government name was um Ari Ari in here. She can tell you. Gartrell. Okay. Uh, sister, you in here? It's three thousand point one. If sister and you in here, say something because I'm gonna bring you up. Because. I would hate to call K9 because he in here too. He right here. Not they put Darius Gartrell Milan. I'm done. Can y'all okay. share this motherfucking live? What's up, Lavish? And let's give me the 6K, y'all, while we waiting. Can we get like five crowns, please? Not they say Darius is K9. I'm done. No, the K9 name is Keith. Y'all silly. You know Big O gonna come up with their own narrative. <laughs> Unfortunately, y'all, the, the 12 is involved, so you know, you can't say um, you gotta I'm smart. Come, you in the live? Don't say too much. No, I'm not in there. Oh, come on. It's come on, come on. You gotta come on back. All right, I'm gonna come back. All right. Um, bring me up. No, I'm not bringing. I'm not bringing nobody up right now. But Ari, um, so yeah. So Darius gets you this whole this Airbnb at the same time as this as um Jay Allen gets an Airbnb there. Well, it was a situation where somebody like was concerned about my um, safety. You know, Leah had just my my let me call you. My let me call you back. Hello. What's up, Milan? Hey, think about it. What's happening? What's your? I'm, I'm a little confused. Um. Um. <laughs> I mean, you can know you got you can. Uh, you don't gotta pay, you don't gotta keep it cute. Ask what you at. I mean, what's up? Okay. What's your government name? 
my government name is Mazani Blaze. So it's not Darius. No, to my what's my legal birth given name? Yeah. Gartrell. Mm-hmm. Gartrell. So is it uh -huh. Gartrell Darius Gartrell? No. It's not. Okay. My All right. Name, my middle my first my first name and my middle name kinda rhyme. Like my middle name is spelled K-E-N-T-R-E-L. So it's Gartrell Kentrell Burton. Okay, so where does the name Ari come from? Huh? The A R I and Ari. That's what I changed my name to. Arna my my name. My mother is in a comment. My legal name is Mazani Arnari Blaze. A N A R I. Okay, so you just took the I mean, Ari. I mean, my nick. You've been around my nigga before. You should saw what name he got on his arm. It's an Ari. No, no, no. I was just trying to figure out, or everybody's trying to figure out, because Charlie, he gonna, he said he's going to tell me on the back end. Um, He ain't going to tell me right now. But he, he, we're all trying to figure out who rented the room for Charlie. You know, Charlie said a concerned person on Bego saw that. Um, okay, I did. Okay, I did. Okay, I did. What's next? What are they going to do? I'm confused. Girl, you know you always like to talk about you did something, just like you took the rap for bitches right, running out I'm, of motherfucking stores. No, Milan, you already know what I'm gonna give. Like, bitch, if people want to think I did it, they could think I did it. I do not care. I'm not claiming no rumors. Like you like I to did. take okay, rap so for people knowing damn did. well you didn't do say? shit. What you gotta say? Because if everybody watched the beginning of Charlie Live, they would they would know they would know everything they need to know. You want to clean on no motherfucking rumors? I did it. So what? I sure did. What's up? Well, I know for a fact, this is what I said. Nine times out of ten, if Ari did something, she's not going to say she didn't do it. If she did it, she did it. And she's going to say she did it. So I do find it very hard to believe that you would say you didn't do it and then find out that you did it because you're not that type of girl. Matter of fact, <laughs> exactly. you take raps for bitches. Exactly. I take raps for bitches. Shit. What? So, and exactly. I know you take raps. I've literally watched you make Facebook pages, you watch Instagram me. posts, exactly. all type of shit. <laughs> exactly. Okay. You watch me. You watch me create a whole storyline about I ran out of store with a watch, and we all knew it wasn't me. So you know what yes. the vibe is over there. You know what the vibe yes. is. So like, I'm not Okay, so it wasn't you. Like, no, like, people texting my phone saying weird shit, talking about, oh, yeah. bitch, you said you never, you didn't like Charlie. I never said I didn't like Charlie. When I thought Charlie said something about me on that bitch live, I said what I said to Charlie. Charlie told me what it was in my inbox. We both apologized to each other and we moved the fuck on. So all this scenario of I don't like Charlie or now me and, me and Charlie was beefing now we hood girlfriends and all of that. Let me tell you, everybody on this motherfucking app something. Bitch, if I did something, I did something. Did I support what Charlie did? I sure the fuck do. Do I agree with what he did? I sure the fuck do. If I was right there in Atlanta, would I been in the car with him? Sure what the fuck we have been. So what? My whole thing is um, people get big old misconstrued when a bitch is on here talking shit on Bigo, bitch we're on Bigo talking shit as long as you're not making no threats and all of that bitch i'm grown sticks and stones may break my bones but words will never hurt me unless you start making threats about hurting me unless you start taking it outside of the app the reads don't fucking bother me or and then i know they don't bother you we didn't heard all this shit a thousand times before no um, i just like, right. you know, i don't care about the reads i don't care about none of that a lot of people on this app, they're behind. First of all, we know that everybody who got something negative to say, they're behind foo-foo pages. They're scary-ass, bum-ass bitches behind foo-foo pages. Luckily, one of them just came out of the window on Rose Alive and like he want to help the boy. Bitch, we already know who y'all is behind them foo-foo pages. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Mm -hmm. He deserves everything that happened to him. Milan, you helped him. And like people keep on saying, well, Ari did, Ari did. First of all, bitch, Milan or nobody else would have helped him or discover his bitch ass if it wasn't for you. Him on their desk. So yeah. I helped, and that's all I needed to do. I didn't have to spend a coin. They spent the coin. I didn't have to. Me, yes, I'm the type of person. You're now you're over there and you're kicking and you're a lot of gagging with K9, bitch. Well, if I were to bring you to Dallas, you would you kind of probably try to pull the same stunt. Then I would have to shoot that boy in his head. Then what? Like I said. Sometimes people can say what they want to say at the end of the day. People can say what they want to say, but sometimes God reveals a hand for a reason before you make any dumbass decisions in life. 
And that's what happened. God revealed a hand before I made a dumbass decision of moving him here. Mm -hmm. And that's why, so before I unmute Charlie, that's why he's not on his way to Dallas with that bus ticket that he got because he was kicking with a person who my sister don't fuck with at all. Okay. And y'all got to keep in mind, you got to keep this in mind, um, Milan. I knew you was planning. I knew he was planning in my face. It took me a minute and it took my admins to bring it to my attention. But Bling Bling is K9's main motherfucking admin. It, like, that's his main admin. Bling Bling is your fucking gay father, gay mama, whatever the fuck it is, gay whatever. Why the fuck would you think I was really going to trust you when I really paid attention to what was really going down and going on? Mm. Mm. I had to step back. My admin brought it to my attention. I'm like, what? It was like, right, that this the take, same take, boy take, that's take calling me. his mama the same bitch that supports your ex who you don't fuck with. So it was just too close for home. You know, this is all making sense now. That's why I said people not understanding the full story. But Milan, as you know, I'm not for explaining myself. Me and you, you are my brother. So I'm going to tell you what ultimately went down. But at the end of the day, it's like, bitch, people pay attention. Bling Bling is K9's top admin. You are Bling Bling's gay child. Mm. What the fuck I had looked like? Mm. When my admins bring that shit to my attention and sent me screenshots, you damn right. I was like, oh, baby. And then after that, right after they sent me that screenshot, right here on the Bible, that's when he did what he did. To, he thought he was up there on, um, on the porch, on Pacho porch, and he started talking about Charlie. And I said, that bitch, I don't need a third. I don't need a third warning. All I need is two. Mm. Okay. Mm. okay. Okay. So, Charlie, um, well, obviously, that was clarified that it was not um Ari who told you let me put you back in the big box it was not Ari who told you um and is there any you know so you your <laughs> so your address was leaked a concerned citizen um from the app got you a room and it just so happened to be the same room as this person who has been lying and talking shit on about you how did what was your first reaction when you checked into the room and you saw him um, at first I heard some noises and I'm like, what is going on? So I told my people to shh, shh, shh. Then I heard noises. I'm like, why does that sound familiar? Mm -hmm. Then it was just like a coincidence, you know, and then he knocked on the door and I was just like, what the fuck? I'm playing my song. I say, gonna hate when I'm dishing the tea. I'm number one on the app. Y'all let's take a lap because who really fucking with me? Knocked on the door. Mm -hmm. Boom, open it up. Here he comes. Came on inside. So I mean, we have the clip. If you, but you have to play it. Y'all can play it on the YouTube. Oh no, I got you it. Don't worry, I'm, I'm about to play it. So mm -hmm. when he came in your room, you had said, "I told you stop coming in my room." So he had he tried to come in your room once before. Well, that's after, like okay. So how it really first started? I opened up the door, and I was like, he was like, "Oh hey." Because he was like, first he was having a conversation. He was like, oh, that music sounds familiar. And then he was gagged when he saw me. He was like, oh, hey. And then um, he, he presented himself and he decided to march on in my room. So I was like, get out. I was warning him like five, six times, get out. It was like the calm before the storm. So. Okay. So I mean, like I said, y'all, it's starting to be the police is involved. So know, let's have you know. common sense. No shade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, to the people in the comments, not you, not you. He invaded your personal space in an Airbnb that, and you didn't want him in your room, and you kept telling him to get out of your room. You know what I'm saying? So that's what right. caused because he was in, he was basically trespassing at that exactly, point. exactly. And I'm not trespassing because I'm there as a guest. So okay, so give me one second. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you think that you, um, you know, even though he was trespassing in your room and you told him multiple times to leave your leave your room, um, do you think 
do you regret do you feel like you could have handled that differently or do you feel like this is exactly what he deserves it was just like the heat of the moment it, it gagged me i'm a gemini you know what i'm saying they say expect the unexpected well damn it i expected the unexpected but i didn't know you know what i'm saying it was gone i didn't know he was gonna keep coming in the room i was warning him so you would have to see the actual the lead up like you it's on youtube like i don't know if you actually want to play the full five like the lead oh, up I can, but I can, I can one, one second you got up. one second Mil milan, or you Ari chime in. yeah because milan you need to know too so charlie and milan y'all both need to know that the owner of the airbnb is in this line oh that's fine um yeah. and i want to say something to the owner of the L the airbnb um you know you it, hold on just come up here camila i think that's her name um just yeah, comment Jamil, really jamila jamila and you in a safe place baby we ain't here with just, no drama just come up here and this is this is charlie i'm gonna bring you up um just I comment think, i think her no i think her and her husband was over here screen recording because it was over their screen recording as well Oh, uh, that's fine. I mean, what it is, you know, that's 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 perfectly fine for her to screen record. <laughs> right. Um, she said she never been in the app, but just keep coming on. I'm so confused. Right. Hey, Jamila. Oh, she is. No, oh, she, I, I thought she you probably, were saying you're sorry. No, she probably no, she probably still in the view. She just is in. I'm not oh, okay. Okay. Um. Okay, yeah, so but I, I asked him to answer your question. I did ask him to leave out multiple times. No matter how y'all spin it, he was the aggressor because he kept coming in the room after I said, stop. So, And to people that think that it's a storyline, it can't be a storyline because he really put some stiff accusations on me. So, you know, That's people don't say, play Charlie, about that. When, when, you, when it comes to that, because I feel like everybody, like Milan, I do like his questioning when it comes to the situation. But in your... In your own words, what what made you go there, like specifically? Because I don't think people understand why you really went there. People keep on thinking about because he told his truth. But right. in your own words, why did what made you really go? Because Thank I you, was mommy. paying. I was paying it. All right, you can even say I was paying it because you remember mm -hmm. the night, um, certain mm -hmm. you was telling your people to come to your to come to your lot, and I would have. You know, I would have. But it was just mm -hmm. this specific topic I was paying. Certain things you got a Mariah Carey bitch. Oh, I don't know her. Right. I was trying to do that, and it wasn't because I was ashamed. It's just that's tacky. You know what I'm saying? Like to talk about like that's not my that's not what I give. But if you want to talk about it, I'll talk about it. So I I was telling this story. I was like. Okay, he gave me head two times. He was 19. I was 24. This was two years ago. It's no tea. And then, mm -hmm. boom, he decided to flip it when I blocked him. All right, I was in a window when he was live after he texted mm -hmm. me his Airbnb address. It wasn't this Airbnb. It was another Airbnb. This was two weeks ago. He had texted me his location. I was about to pull up. And the reason why I didn't pull up is because I was in the window. And he was like, yeah, I'm about to um, link up with a top broadcaster. His name is Barley. It's, it rhymes with Barley. Come on now, y'all. That's common sense who it was. Charlie. Boom. Mm -hmm. So I blocked him. I knew his motive. And he decided to flip it on me after the incident. And he wasn't 16. He wasn't 17. For the record, he was 19. And no matter which way y'all spin it, he was on grinder. You have to fucking sign the terms and conditions and it say you are 18 or older. So I don't give a fuck what narrative they're trying to come up with. This is not the same narrative as Mother Tay. Mother Tay had receipts knowing that that nigga was 17 or whatever because he told him. Where's the text message? Where's the proof? Y'all bitches just hate me. That's why I kicked Brandon out because Brandon's so fucking weird. He was the main one pushing his narrative, but he be paying 19-year-olds, 18-year-olds, to fucking um, send them news and have FaceTime sex because he's a creep with a fake ass Beijing beard. Fuck you, Brandon. You caca Beijing beard ass bitch. You trying to push a narrative. You and Trina B stuttering ass Stanley trying to push this fucking narrative that I'm a fucking pedophile. But Trina B, let's be clear. I pulled your son's court record. Your son is a molester. Bitch, your son is a fucking pedophile. Those are facts, bitch. There's black and white, bitch. There ain't no black and white on me, ho. It's accusations, bitch. And I showed a bitch, you got to be careful what rumors you spread on hoes. You came to my playground and you know I was respectful to you, my nigga. I never did anything to this boy. He decided to clout chase off of me and I paid it. I allowed him to because I understand how that is. 
But at the end mm. of the day, what made it an issue is when he said he was fucking 17, 16. And then he told the cops today he was 16. That came out of the blue when he was just saying he was 17, 18. Then the first time he said he was 19. So Ari Milan, I thank y'all for seeing the bullshit. Because y'all could y'all could switch up. Y'all could have easily joined the hate train. So that shows y'all got a mind of y'all own. So I just respect y'all even more, no shade, in this situation. Especially Milan, because, you know, we had our own issues. And to the people that keep saying, why didn't I fight Ari? Bitch, that's the dumbest question, knowing that you see how Leah is acting towards me. Why the fuck would I have jumped in for Leah? Leah don't have friends in real life, bitch. Obviously, I know how to separate real friends and big old friends. Leah didn't know how, which is why she named her fucking baby Angel after me and Charlie's Angels. And she decided to name me the God Daddy because she wanted me to be the baby daddy. And I declined the services. You know, she into faggots. She liked the gays. So, no mm. shit. Anyways, continue. Wow. And then, and furthermore, go, go, ahead. go ahead. No, no I, I was going to say. Um, everybody in the comments keep on saying that Ari talked to the boy. I talked to the boy, and I was not aware of him and Charlie's history. When I watched him do that, I was in the window is. on Pancho Live. When I watched him do that, I then tried to have a personal conversation with him. And the personal conversation was the reason he came to the app was to slay Charlie. I'm not with that type of shit. That's just, I'm not with that type of shit. I don't care how no, you, now none of y'all feel about me turning my back on him thereafter, but I'm not with that. I haven't sat on my live and tried to hold a conversation with him. And guess what? He still continued that he wanted Charlie's head. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that type of person. You're not going to come stay in my house. And now I'm seeing you do this to somebody else. Bitch, you could turn around and do the same shit to me. I'm good. And anybody who don't, anybody who don't agree with me, I don't give a fuck respectfully. Here. Okay, so quick question before, because we I want to kind of start bringing up people with questions. Um, my last part of my question is, um, you you already had did your ones and twos in the house. Um, did you mace him because he had that taser in his hand, or you just maced him <laughs> just because? Well, I maced that motherfucker because he had that taser. I was like, okay. why the fuck? Would you pull out that taser to me? And I, I was warning him, like, boy, you better move. You're by my car. I'm trying to get in my car. We already did our ones and twos. It was a fair 101 or whatever. He was near the car. He had that taser. And I was like, oh, hell no. I'm not Breon, bitch. The difference between me and Breon, I know how to move quick and swiftly. You ain't finna come up on me. You got to be near a bitch to taser. You ain't finna, right. like, I'm not finna let you do it. It's either, bitch, how y'all... What the fuck? Where y'all come from? It's either me or him. That's how I think, bitch. So it was no, self-defense. Sure. Obviously. For sure. Okay. So, yeah. So, and then I also want to let you guys know, I want to show you something because Rick Rose is also was spinning a very fake narrative, which was fake news. So let me go ahead and show y'all this as well. Rick Rose is so weird. Let me get in the big box. Didn't so, he skim Pulse nightclub, the gay victim's family, when they died? I'm sorry. I just had to say that. Yes, he did. That These are facts. Oh, um, okay. But let me go ahead and flip this camera. So I had came in a room when they were lying to this young man, telling him he can go to he can go and tell the police um, to file charges for aggravated assault and assault with a deadly weapon for Mace. Mm -hmm. Now, I and I'm going to say this, and I'm going to repeat this again. Pepper spray and mace is a non-lethal weapon, okay? The only time you can use pepper spray or mace as a lethal weapon is if maybe somebody's driving a car and you mace them, they're operating a plane, and you mace them, you have to incapacitate them to by doing something else that can actually kill them. But pepper spray itself and mace... And the officer confirmed it wasn't bear mace. It was um, pepper spray. Pepper spray Thank and mace, Thank chemical you, mace, is specifically excluded from definitions of weapons. There is no there. There is no regulation restriction on the lawful use for self defense sprays. Okay, that's why they sell mace at Jewels. That's why they sell mace at Walgreens. That's why you can go into huh? wherever and buy mace. It's a deterrent. It is not a fucking lethal weapon. Stop 
letting right. these bitches tell y'all anything and y'all believe it. Okay? <laughs> a person has to be driving a car. A person has to be operating a plane. A person has to be doing something that if they get mace, they can die. Not if a person is walking up to you with a taser. Right. Exactly. Okay? Mm. While I'm walking to so, my car to de-escalate the situation and leave. Okay. So, and, and I don't know if y'all ever been to a, a, a club, if y'all ever got into a fight at a club. I don't know if y'all ever was at a riot. Maybe y'all protested. Bitch, the cops will bear mace and mace you hoes. The security <laughs> guards will bear mace and mace you hoes. Matter of fact, I spent two hours pouring milk on Zay the president and his ex-lover London with milk that because the security guard at a club bare maced them because they wouldn't get in a car. Ooh, I heard about that. Club. I remember that. Oh, yeah. Mm. OK. Yeah. So a security does not, a, a bitch calling himself a security guard don't have no authority position to do nothing that you don't have to do. Matter of fact, just so y'all know, when them security guards be beating y'all ass and punching y'all and kicking y'all out from clubs, bitch, you can call the police on the security at a club, and they will go to jail. Mm -hmm. yep. That's another thing that y'all don't know. Y'all think Wow, I never knew that. Oh, my. Yes, because bitch, they're not they police officers, they're, they're not higher. supposed to touch you. Wow. Yeah. They wow. can't touch okay. you. They, they can break it up, but when they be beaten, I've seen security guards beat people ass and kick them out. All of that Learn shit, they can go to jail day. and you can sue the club. Hmm. So with that being said, we're going to bring up some people. Um, Charlie, hope you're open to a couple of questions. Yes, y'all. Keep it cute. I'm, I'm, but y'all know I'm fair. I'll let y'all. Y'all can ask whatever. Let's keep it cute. All right. So it's, I'm going to go ahead. Your tone. Just keep the tone cute. The, the queue is full. Uh, oh, well, let's start with this one. Get this out the way. <laughs> you motherfucking sissy bitch. Yeah, okay, this is the reason why I came up. I'm going to let you off. know, bitch. If I ever catch your get motherfucking ass, I'm going to whoop you. Get him off. Milan. Milan. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Next caller. Thank you. Oh, I thought she had I'm questions. Not. She said she going to catch sorry, you. I'm sorry, baby. Ah, ah, Next caller. It's your fault. That's why I'm st st stuttering, bitch. Fuck you. All right. Go ahead, yeah, Big Fine. On. Do y'all see Big Fine or is is it or she froze? It's glitchy. Next girl, you gotta fix it. Come back. I'm sorry, Poop. Puka. I said it's glitchy. It's glitching boobs. Then Milan, how you feel about Trinity B faking that storyline? He was getting fucked, like acting like he was getting raped. That was weird uh, today. But I didn't it's see not about him. I I'll see. Hi Iliante. Hi Iliante. <laughs> What's up? My bad. You got a you got a question for um me, Ari, or um Charlie? No, nah, my bad. I got my accident. My bad. I was gonna keep. Okay. Now he laid out in the car. Okay, baby, you can lock our feet. Right, that was Trey Boots. Right. Trey. I wanted to follow him. <laughs> uh, Milan, right. Right. Now we all just was about at... to say that. Y'all aggravated. So, Drop too fast. Um, go ahead, Silbone. My question is, what does King A have to do with it, and why they got so much to talk? Because they're lying down the other, and Charlie, they are going in. Who is King I don't A? Know who that is? But you got to pay people. We are hot topic, so outsiders are going to speak. That ain't nobody that's involved. I don't even know who that is, y'all. So mean, I guess we should mean, pay that. Do you mean? Do you mean King B? No, it says King A. I, think I, still, I don't know back. who that is. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Yeah, but, but I don't know who that is. Nobody knows. So I ain't trying to be funny. With you, <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I was just wondering because he just popped up out of nowhere and he got a whole lot to. Oh, baby, baby, baby. With. That's our translation of saying we don't know, baby. So we got to pay that. All right. But you have a lovely night. Thank you, boo. You didn't. All catch, right. Didn't and I want to give a shout out. Hold on one second. I want to give a shout out to um to uh Rick Rosta. Um, you know, I was in your live trying to be fair, um, trying to come up and be the voice of reason. And bitch, you kept skipping over me. You kept going to all these other bitches. You even skipped over me and brought that Leo up there from the Milans. 
Um, so that right there showed me that you was being a weird ass bitch. And that's why I started my live, bitch, and took every last single one of your viewers, girl. Now you're down to a thousand. Good luck in life, bitch. Okay. I keep telling you, ho, I'm the king of this shit over here with these faggots. You're not, biggie. Don't play in my motherfucking face, bitch. You were so motherfucking pressed to spread this fake ass narrative to take somebody down. Bitch, I'm gagging at you. It's weird. It's weird, especially trying to push a pedophilia narrative. It's fucking weird. Okay? This is the second time you didn't push the pedophilia narrative. Bitch, and in a year from now, you're going to be trying to do a show with motherfucking Charlie. Charlie going to have a panel, and I'm going to look up, and you're going to be sitting on the same motherfucking panel like you've been sitting on Tay's panel. Bitch. Okay? Anyways. Hey, Queen Sharon, what's your question, baby? Um, well, I don't have a question. I just have a couple of statements. Can I can I speak that real quick? Um, okay, boo. One, um, hey, Charlie. Uh, one, okay? Um, when he first showed up at the door, these are a couple notes you need to think of, Charlie, and I trust me, I know what I'm talking about. When he first showed up at the door, right, you didn't swing on him first off. If it was an attack type of case, you would have swung when he first opened the door. Second, if you go to his live and this video recorded, he said, I heard the song, I liked the song, I wanted to see what was going on, because, hey, I like the song. So you went to go see what was going on. Mm -hmm. How many times you said, get out of my space, get out of my space, get out of my space. There is a part in that video where your back is turned, okay? Your back is turned, and he comes up on your back, and you tell him to get off of you because he's leaning on you. That is a right. antagonizing the person. If it's That's all I was telling him a lot. He got to play the whole are, thing because that part. Right, right, you exactly. are antagonizing mm -hmm. the person. You are not scared of a person if you continue to go in their room, yep. if you are leaning on their back. And when you antagonize a person and they don't know what you're going to do, then however they choose to defend themselves is how they choose to defend yourself. Like I said, your back was turned to them. It's crazy to me that people are trying to spin this narrative, this pedophile narrative, when the dude's story keeps changing, but Thank now it's trying to say it was a fact. So I just wanted to point out those, those few um, pointers right there. And don't worry, I'm going to go through... Uh, Shayla, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You would know because you've been in enough business, bitch. You've done enough illegal Ooh. shit. And you should know what the court motherfucking is going to say. But I'm pointing out those points. If you want more pointers on the back end, Charlie, I'll help you get through this. That's all, Milan. Thank you. Wait, what's You're Shayla welcome. Saying? Yeah, I sent her shit. That's my, that's my stink. All right. All right. Shayla, that's not Shayla comment, girl. I don't see you. I got to follow you back. Thanks. They were on their way to Dallas. Right. Shayla, I'm going to follow you, you uh -huh. Hey, hey, think about it. I wasn't even reading, um, I wasn't even reading Charlie. Hey, Dave, I wasn't even reading Charlie. Second of all, can you unmute me in the comments? Of course, who muted you? I don't know. It just said you're, I was muted. You're unmuted. Maybe, you know, Big O be muting too sometimes. So probably this press probably, but I don't know. But Charlie right, told him like a... Whatever, y'all. When I saw, I kept telling him to back up, to get out. Hey, Poker. Charlie. Hey, y'all. Let me cover myself. When you and um, Lucy. All right, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Um, everybody is three point eight fucking k viewers in here. Is four thousand people in here? If you're not following me, follow me right the fuck now. Let's start there. Okay. If you're in my room and you're not following me, follow me right now. Follow me. If they say something smart about follow me, bitch, admins, kick them the fuck up out of here. That's number two. So follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Okay. Let's start there. Since y'all not sending gifts, y'all can at least fucking follow. Because there's no way it's 4,000 people. And the gifts that Charlie got is because I sent them. The gifts that Ari got is because Charlie sent them. And the gifts that I got is because, shit, I don't know who sent them. But, bitch, this is not one of them motherfucking rooms. We all host up here. We all still work here. I know y'all been used the last couple of days of going in motherfucking rooms. Thank you, Shayla. And it be five, 6,000 people in there and y'all don't send gifts. Because them bitches' rooms, they don't work here at Bigo. We still work here. All right? Okay? 
So make sure you're following me. That's the least you can do. Click my box and follow me. All right, Pocahon is beautiful. Um, go ahead, think about it. Charlie, when you and um Loose Lips lined, you were trying to defuse the situation. Am I right? Before he started coming at you, were you not trying to defuse the situation? Were you not yes, trying to I even, let him, I even let him cuss me out? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. I I just wanted to point that out because a lot of people feel like Charlie just decided to attack this guy, but Charlie tried to defuse the situation. He actually wanted this beef with Charlie so bad. Mm. That's all I wanted to say. Okay, you're beautiful. Um, that was I my first her. time seeing you cam up. She's gorgeous. She, she is gorgeous. Drop dead, right. baby. So sorry. And I ain't I'm allergic to pussy y'all, but damn. <laughs> but nah, Shit. Okay, it's beautiful. Ooh. Ugh. Oh. God right. damn. Not you getting hard. No, I'm just saying, it's just not about poker. Like, she's just beautiful. Hey, Wes. Hey, I just would like to say that, um, Charlie, um, and Ari, y'all are some fucking bullies, and I'm gonna catch you hoes on the back end. And when I catch you, no, I'm just saying, hey, y'all, what's going on? Charlie <laughs> 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 was looking at the camera like, girl, what? <laughs> no, I was reading a comment, girl. No, no, no. I wasn't even. I knew you was kidding. No, but bitch. Um, but no, Charlie. I Charlie, I just told y'all. Y'all see, I told y'all she got on Rick Rose, Rick Rose alive and told a complete different story from what he said the other day with Ari. The other day with what you call him. Bitch, this whole they got like seven different stories. Now she's 16. Right. Come on. Right. Told the cops today she's 16, but yesterday, 17. The day before yesterday, 18. The day before that, 19. Girl. And I would just like to say, Charlie, the push was epic. Thank you. And I'm so here. proud of you. Good night. Thank you, that push was like motherfucker. Bitch, she pushed that, that push bitch was into nasty. the middle of next week. He in 2023. That bitch in 2023. <laughs> after that yeah. push, girl. All right. All right, all yeah. right, all right. I, I bet she'll think twice. Make it up with the story. We're going to take three more, and that'll be 10. We're going to take three yes, more. And and can y'all run me up? I'm trying to get to like AK real quick, y'all. Can we get 99 Mason? Thank you. Some trophy. Hey, bad, uh, bad girl or bad girls club. How you doing? Hi, me. Hi. Baby. Yeah, we can hear you. Um, I just want to, I'm in the car, so sorry, but I just want to ask, um, Henry and Charlie, probably Charlie don't know because maybe he was live, but the day before y'all got into it, Ari was live and she was discussing with him why she didn't feel comfortable with him coming to uh, Texas anymore. And he specifically said out of his mouth, and I think they got that live screen recorded, that he was only doing this because he wanted clout from Char um, Charlie. And Ari was like, mm -hmm. they're going about it the wrong way. What? This, yeah, I saw that. Wow. This is uh, him, him, him just saying that out of his mouth and then all of this coming after and people not seeing that first. This is a whole lead up to what he wanted. He even though he probably got his ass whooped, he wanted his ass. This whooped. is a he part of it, this, yeah. Yes, yeah, he wanted this whole he said he don't care about no money, he just wants the clout. So he yeah, yeah, said, so why why is everybody mad? Yeah, because she mm, didn't tell you right. my exact words to him. I said, Well, right. you're wrong about it the wrong way. You could have blackmailed Charlie or you Charlie. Facts. You did he say that. He could have got a bag or something. Like, no, but so Charlie, dumb. his exact words, he said, to be honest with you, it was it's not about money. I just want the clout. I like it. He, he definitely said out of his eyes. And she would have been better off being friends. And if she him. was there, if she was there, she would tell you. I told him, I said, Well, you would have been better off just being cool with him. He, he kept on going. He, and yep. then I said, Now right. you're about to get kicked and blocked. Mm -hmm. And then she mm. told him, if you, okay, if you want to clout, you know, I could have taught you how to really get from Charlie if you really wanted to do that. Like, you doing something <laughs> dumb by, like, talking about I already could have put her on game. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and that's I, 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 wanna, I just right. wanted I'm, to point that out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't like, I don't like this at all. I'm, I'm going I'm to get in this big box. I don't like this at all. Bitch, first of all, that's the motherfucking problem with this motherfucking generation. You hoes. Don't give a fuck about no money. Or your family. Y'all don't give a fuck about your reputation. Y'all bitches is sitting up here making up storylines and ruining people's lives, fighting, going on TV shows, all of this shit for motherfucking clout. Bitch, how stupid are you? 
You mean to tell me, bitch, you didn't give a fuck about no money? You didn't give a fuck about nothing? You wanted to just be seen? That's the problem with you TikToking ass bitches that's making up TikToks every day. You motherfucking bitches that's motherfucking winding up and trying to fight every bitch that you can to get seen on Bad Girls Club and Bad Boys Club. You bitches that motherfucking do anything just for a motherfucker to tell you no shame. Bitch, get a motherfucking check. This temporary ass motherfucking clout shit is fucking weird as fuck, bitch. And y'all been doing it. I don't know what the fuck has gotten into Bigo, but it's been it's been on sky high the last two months. It's been on sky high. Bitch is not even host coming on here wanting to start lives and just talk shit. Bitches that not even, we don't even know, want to get on the panel and talk shit so they can get seen. So a bitch can say, no shade. Ooh, I like him. Let me tell you what the bitches that y'all are inspiring to do, because a bitch keeps saying this. A bitch keeps saying, when I first got on Bigo, we didn't used to do it for money. We used to just sit on here and read just to read. Okay? All you bitches that's doing the reading and doing it just to read, y'all doing it for motherfucking money now. So all you bitches that want to aspire to be the Tays, the Zays, the Dre Babies, the Charlies, the Milans, all of these bitches with these huge discords and all this, they're not doing this for free. If you sit on them same bitches panels who don't work here, every three minutes they tell you to do what? Send them a what? A CA, a cash app. They not doing this entertaining this shit for free. It looked like they sitting on here doing it for fucking free because they got 13, 2,000, fucking 3,000 viewers in a motherfucking room and they not host. But every two minutes, they remind you to send them a cash app. Y'all bitches is hopping up here doing this shit for clout, doing this shit for no shades. And bitch, you look stupid and you look weak. This bitch just really set up and made a whole motherfucking storyline knowing she was 19 years old to motherfucking ruin a bitch reputation, to go at it with Charlie, because Charlie's one of the biggest hosts on this app, and now she's a host, so she won a motherfucking storyline. And either way she won, because whether she got her ass whooped for the storyline or not, she still got a storyline, and that's the crazy part. She don't care. That's the psychotic part about it. She don't care. She got it. She probably got a thousand viewers, a thousand subscribers, two, three thousand, four thousand fucking people following her now. That's all she care about. She on Rick Rose's panel. She she on my panel. She on everybody's panel because everybody wants to talk to her. Now she's popular. She got five thousand viewers after this. Subs this shit is crazy, y'all. Y'all bitches need to learn how to work for y'all motherfucking shit. Bitch, if you a bad bitch, bad bitches get allowances. Bad bitches ain't bad bitches because they sit around and do shit for motherfucking free. I'm fucking, I'm fucking gagging. Let me bring up the last, the last two, bitch. Y'all are this is y'all are losing y'all motherfucking Girl, mind around. No, I'm a line. You preached. Okay. No shades. <laughs> No this attention seeking shit. ass shit. And Rick Rosa, bitch, you tired. That lousy ass interview. This is how you do an unbiased interview, bitch. If I could have came over there if he was unbiased, but he dumb. Hmm. Give me one he would have had way more views. Stupid ass bitch. She was so unbiased. She didn't even want me to come up there and ask like you regular mean biased, questions. Like, yeah. Mm. I mean bias, yeah. Right. Hey, remotely. Uh, hey, remote control. Go ahead, Milan, speak, but so you got right. the floor. Okay. Milan, you're so right. But let me ask you this. Who are you to judge? Did you do a storyline with Greedy out in L.A. when y'all met up? That wasn't a storyline. I whooped Greedy ass, bitch. That was not a storyline, bitch. I don't even know Greedy. Never met Greedy. That was Money Man's friend, bitch. Didn't know her. 
girl, get out of here, bitch. That's why you got high y'all motherfucking kicked across the motherfucking room. Like how that mm. bitch flew from that one side of that bedroom to the out the door, bitch. How when Charlie <laughs> pushed her, she flew from the left side of the bedroom to out the motherfucking door into the hallway, bitch. That's how you got kicked out of this room. You stupid bitch. Period. Give me I don't know bitch. why he thought he was safe. Remote control. Hey, Charlie, I owe you an apology mm. because I definitely believed his story. And based off what he was saying, I never saw Ari's live from before. I only saw when he came up there and did the Dre Baby interview. So I do apologize for that because I was definitely fooled. But when I seen the Rick Rosa interview and I seen that none of his stories were matching, it blew the fuck out of me. Mm. Like, I, I'm really sorry for judging your character like that. Oh, thank you. And mama. I think thank you. I appreciate dope. you. Yeah, I was going to say, I think that's so dope for all of y'all. Even the people in the comments that are saying, me too, no shade, you know. Yeah, thank y'all. Yeah, to be able to say, you know, bitch, we was fooled. We all can be fooled. We all can be fooled, bitch, no shade. Because, bitch, at first, I was ready to jump on the bandwagon too, you know. I was like, girl, she did. You were? Bitch. No, and you got every right to, bitch. We we wake it up on the, uh, everybody, but it's just you gotta have facts when it comes to certain things, like stuff like this. Is hey, Mala, I, I just wanted to ask a question. I just wanted to ask, like, in this live, are we was are we obligated to agree what's going on? Because everybody getting kicked that don't agree or just having a different. Oh, you know what? I I, I do want to say I didn't know I haven't been noticing why people are being being kicked, but you definitely do not have to agree. So and yeah, all you the don't. admin say yeah, but Charlie, you the one kicking everybody out that don't agree. Oh uh, well, no, I kick people out that's coming at me. So you if probably can't at me, Mama. That's different. You can disagree, but you so. can't be like, you know, you stupid bitch, Charlie. I'm gonna beat your ass. Yeah, you know? yeah. I, I didn't say that. All I said was when when somebody had came up and said that um, that dude was antagonizing Charlie. I said that. Charlie was antagonizing him by getting the room right beside him, and I got kicked out for that. I wasn't calling him no type of names or anything. I just felt like, I mean, okay, both well, of them you were wrong because I didn't. We, I didn't get the room. Somebody else got. I said, I said, he didn't but get the room. If you, want to be te if you want to be technical, so we being technical, you were wrong. So I'm just saying. But but your intention was to go there and antagonize. Okay, baby. Well, okay. Can we move on? Somebody else in the queue, Mama. Shit. Because y'all keep on talking about he went there to antagonize somebody, but y'all keep on forgetting he was antagonizing him on this ad. So, like, come on, make it make sense to us. Right, they said I didn't even kick her. It was the ad. Already? I don't they want to fight over a kick. Gee. You can drive me. Yep, it's Toya. How you doing? Go ahead. I'm good. You can drive me. I ain't mean to come up here. Okay. I don't be understanding how y'all don't be meaning to come up in these queues when y'all literally are pressing join a lot. Like, it gives you the option. So no, I but join. Milan, they done gagged me a couple times, girl. I thought I was safe, and I was in the queue, bitch, one time. So, no shade. Be going to be weird. I mean, for yeah. some reason, sometimes it just puts mm -hmm. you up there. Hey, Milan. Right. Hey, just, uh, I don't have any questions. Hey, y'all. I don't have any questions. I just have a statement, like... What like the whole app is literally talking about this, right? Mm. So what makes what Charlie did any greater than everybody on the app calling CPS, calling the police, getting people kicked out of their apartments, their homes, all type of shit? No, his the what he did today is no greater than what everybody else do. Drama For sound real. off. Thank you, Mama. So I'm so th this 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 is the same shit that like is I feel like it's more equal to what some of the people already do on the live. The difference is, is some of these people can't meet up to go fight nobody. It just so happens that he's in the same city and state. Mm. So I'm I'm just confused with that. Everybody got their opinion, but everybody be doing their shit on the back end too. So. And, Especially the main people that's speaking. And damn, bitch, you, you doing it to somebody that's not no, that's not really about the heat gap because you thought she was doing it to some bitch that's just doing this for Vigo. And right. when she pulled up on you and did their big one, you gagged, bitch. You you thought you had a storyline. Because somebody told Ooh. this bitch to get on here and come with a storyline. Somebody told her she mm -hmm. needs a storyline. Right. Somebody told her that. Go ahead, money. Hey, Milan. How y'all doing? Let me calm down real quick. Can y'all hear me? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. We can hear you. 
I I really hope we keep this relationship with the Milans. I like it. Y'all be fair. Y'all can't hit y'all can't motherfucking come for my dog. Y'all know that boy was 19. But with that being said, Milan, don't switch up on my dog Charlie now. Please, because we like the Milans now. We like y'all on the back end. No, but you know to be fair, we both me and Milan both be throwing, we both be equally shading each other. So I but I think he cool. Like if we cool. like the Milans on the back, I like Milan because Milan no on the back end. I just want to come up here and say we like you, Milan. No, no, but I'm, I'm being, I just, I'm I just said right we both now. do, y'all. I just said we both do. You know how many times I done came in this bitch room and she was reading me talking about my ass? Right. I was just I'm reading my line two weeks ago, money. Be fair, money. You know, but Girl. I get what he's saying, but be fair, though. We come at each other, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got, okay, hold on. <laughs> we bipolar, child. Hey, man apart. What's hey. up? What you got? What you got? Okay, the dishes, girl. Go out. Oh, I thought that was a sink. My bad, baby. Okay, okay. She didn't mean to do it. All right, I'm gonna add up one more. Pro oh, ooh, he kind of cute. I'm gonna add him too. Um, go ahead, um, pretty from the platforms. Um, I'm not from the platforms, but um, <laughs> I just want to say, how y'all doing first off? Um, mm -hmm, Charlie, yeah. I just want to say, you don't think it was a little too small to fight him? You don't think he, his mouth wasn't a little too big? Like, I feel like you could have just popped him. Like, you you did a lot. Like I mean, well, I told him to move and get out my face. And then the no, push say, was the warning. No, you told him to come like, in the room, the then you told him to get out. Like, I didn't understand. Okay, but the, 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 no, say, okay, but... Down, but he was it was in the midst of the moment, but at the end of the day, I still told him to get out. So it ain't no room in fight. It ain't no. I mean, you did what you did, but ain't no sizing. I'm still skinny. It ain't like I'm fat or like what. I'm just a little tall. Right, they both. They both. And then he's 21. People keep saying he a kid. Like 21 ain't no fucking kid. Ooh, where she at? It looked like she had a party. Let's see. Let's be nosy. Oh, that's how she look. I always wonder how she look. She don't know. She, she don't lie. Did y'all screenshot it? Y'all, she a troll. Did y'all screenshot the picture? This bitch be talking about me. I hope y'all screenshotted it. This bitch be talking about me. Hey, ho. Don't you be talking about me, bitch. You the troll that had a lot to say about me in the press, Ari. Miley, what's good, bitch? Happy birthday, Nicki Minaj. Miley, what's good, ho? You had a lot to say about me in the press. He tried to. <laughs> she trying to run. <laughs> she is gagging boots. Put oh the pic God. in the group chat, y'all. <laughs> she be trolling everybody too. That's the <laughs> for real, girl. Hey, Stormy. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Hi. Doing? I'm doing well. How are you guys doing? Nice Pretty morning. good. I just want to say, like, um. He did all this for a storyline. Like he homeless for real. Like he didn't do. He didn't get no money. <laughs> like nothing. Apparently. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Mm. Mm, you're right, Milan. Cloud don't play bills at all. <laughs> no, it don't. And you did all of this after this bitch. She should be moving into her first motherfucking apartment, bitch. Okay. No me. After, me after well, I'm my ass my boxes though. Yeah, like she should be moving. She should be already got. She should have like at least a thousand dollars ready to go to her new apartment. Okay. No shade. Oh no, no, she go. You know, she paying for her friends to go to the bowling alley with the money that y'all sent her and buying shoes and necklaces and stuff. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Well, What's going on, Charlie? Hey. Y'all, my my hey, thing man. is what when a person uh lie on you they assassinating your character and that should be hard to come back from, especially when they say it's some. Um, sexual pedophile type shit so my thing well, is if you. you old enough to suck some dick you could get a fist in your mouth too period that part the fuck yeah. all right i'm yeah. down hey. no, no motherfucking shot day all right we're gonna bring up one more and then i'm gonna um i'm gonna let charlie go do his big one i'm gonna send him five more shields too so we can get him to 10k Go ahead, Pan. Fair, you just been so fair. No shade. Go ahead, Panama. Okay, she didn't mean to come up. Let's drop her. Yeah, Leah, low next, then Leah. 
There's somebody on the back end got Leah. <laughs> yeah, Ari got her already. <laughs> no, I'm saying again. You know, Ari gonna spend that. No, body. somebody else got her on the back end. <laughs> right, Ari. You know, I know. Right. Exactly. <laughs> hey, stars. Um, star smooth. What's up, baby? Oh, I didn't even know I came up here. I'm sorry, y'all. Hey, All right, girl. you got gas, Booker. All right, let's bring up yeah. one more. Can we get a nice question, y'all? Good question. I want some juice. Yeah, like some juicy, some tea. Turn it. Like, do your big one. Let's come up. Let's spin her around. Go ahead, baby. Well, I know I was up here, but anyways, Jalen, Aylin, Waylon, he needed his motherfucking ass whoop. Don't play with a motherfucker when you know you can be touched, bitch, and that's on period. So for mm -hmm. all you motherfucking Vigo bullies, Vigo typer gangsters in the comments, play with you. Try Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, period. No period. No tampon. Okay. Period. I. Period. I. Go ahead, hey. um, Pretty Banks. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Milan. Love you, Boots. Hey, Ari. Hey. So, Charlie, hey. I, I do have a question for you. What's good? Before he came with the clout, right? Before he did all of mm -hmm. that, he stated that you had tried to contact him, like, right after Thanksgiving. Like, if he hadn't done any... First of all, is that true? Um, and yes, then, we got the screenshot. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. I can show him again if y'all need, if need be. Okay. Yeah, so before he came stuff. with the fuckery, right? Is mm -hmm. it so? What were like? Were you gonna be okay to be cool with him? Like, could it have gone another way? If Charlie he wanted, wanted some more head. Yeah, yeah I wanted Charlie some wanted more head. head. He was a, like his name was saved in my phone. It's Jay Head when I got his um number. But yeah. I mean, no shit. He got a head. long ass throat. He looked like he deep. The throat like, was fuck. good. I ain't gonna lie. And like he said, he liked the long dick. So it was a mutual thing. Period. Mm. But damn, Jay, you kind of fucked up. And then secondly. Is he related to Shamal? Mm -hmm. I just play it. All right, you love y'all. All right. Girl, he look like what's that nigga named Coco CC since it's Nicki Minaj's birthday? You remember that nigga uh, Milan back then that used to go viral, Cardi B cousin, the one that used to rap super bass. This one is for the girls with the moment system. Oh yeah, the, the one that be screaming, mm -hmm. he'll turn his head. He'd be screaming yeah. his shit. You know that's uh, Cardi cousin. Yep. Oh my God, y'all will not get me on here talking about this Cardi's fucking cousin, okay? No, Cardi even said it, y'all. I'm dead ass serious. Then Cardi said it. I'm mute, it, man. I'm hey, hey, Very hey. much. Thank you so much for muting me. Um, you thought you was going to catch me slip? And never. It's facing the ceiling, and I'm ready to ask some questions. Charlie, how does it feel? Now, I don't really watch you, but you know, you always spill some tea. Now you're in the hot seat. How does it feel to be in the hot seat? You're boiling over with, you know, this tea that you're dealing with. Yeah, good, good question. Good so question. I've been there. I like. Before you go, Charlie, before mm -hmm. you go, I like to sing a Beyonce lyric. What goes around, comes back around, huh? my baby. Okay, okay baby. <laughs> you, you ate that, sis. Okay, so what I would say is, the answer to that question is, I've been in the hot seat before. Um, I don't know if you're, you must be new to the app, but when um, Low pulled up, y'all act like, I ain't never been in the house. Like, I put myself in the hot seat. When Low pulled up to my house, I pulled back up to her house. Like, we done did, we done did things like this before, y'all. And honestly, um, I put myself in the hot seat all the time. I've been recapping this myself. Milan is the one that got me over here because I did low-key want to interview. People just not bold enough to ask me for one. I think they think I'm mean, but Milan, um, his energy was right. Cause I was in the window when he was um, defending me and being unbiased. So, all right. Anyways, hold on. All right, we taking one last person. Okay. This person page is Jerry Springer, so I'm assuming he gonna have a good fucking question. Let's bring yes. put him in. The Turn it, spot. Jerry. Turn it. Jerry, Jerry. We. Hi, I got a question for Go Ari. Ahead. 
All right, do you feel like you dodged a bullet? Because uh, at one point in time, you was going to let the guy move in with you. And do you think that if he would have moved in with you, then Bling Bling and K9 would have gotten your address from him? Because he's a little slow and probably wanted some digs yeah. from them. And they could have got you and worked you. That's all. I completely agree. Mm. That's why I ended up changing my mind. That's what I was just saying earlier. That's why I changed my mm. mind. Because I would have had to Bling Bling all of them. I love that question. That was a different question. No, but right, I, that's, Dr. that's what made me change my mind. I can't lie. Mm. My question is to Charlie, is, is this you called him to come pull up to the club and y'all, you know, put out this little uh little storyline? So that's all I want to know because that's what it's getting, bitch. We know how you get down, bitch. Huh? Uh, Baton, shut up. What? You wanted to suck my dick, Baton. You mad because you popped, you fell off. You started with me on this app, bro. People don't know you, but they know me. Continue. Oh, wow. Um, okay. You sound always at somebody. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, I think that's, I think that's about, okay, big deal. No, it's probably, y'all get in the fucking queue if y'all got questions. I know y'all got questions because y'all was waiting to ask me, come on. We ready. If the queue is full, they just the questions that when they come Oh, up get here, out the get out the like queue, y'all. Like y'all not asking questions, bruh. You should clear um, the queue one time. Um, hey Charlie, do you feel like all these haters is like don't you feel like sick to your stomach? No matter what you do, they find a reason to say it's not enough. Like if somebody mm -hmm. lie on you, what you gonna do? Right, especially something like this. Like they wanted me to be quiet. They said don't address it. I was like, then if I don't address it, then y'all would say I'm scared. Or you doing his big one? Then when I do address it, I'm wrong. It's like damn if I do, damn if I don't. But I ain't pleasing nobody. I did what I needed to do because I had to do what I had to do. In greedy voice, per. Hey, J Money, what's up, nigga? What's Honestly, poppin'? Charlie, let me ask you something, nigga. On some real honest shit. You hear me? I'm listening. Why the fuck, like, you went and um, jumped that boy? Why you do that? Like, what was up with that? Go watch the like, video the and go catch up. I mean, we are nah, talking about saying, it. You got to ask the that? question. You don't that. think nothing wrong with that? Like, I didn't jump on anybody. What? Like It was one on one. I didn't jump on anybody, my boy. What you talking about? But it was like a setup phase. You don't feel that way? Honestly. Huh? What? Be honest. Huh? You don't feel okay, like you, it, you, you asked your kinda, question. I answered it. I don't. You answer. You asked your question. I answered okay, it. We so, are. We've yeah. already answered that question throughout nah, the whole I ain't interview. No with you. I'm just saying, like, I feel like he was you asked me like, why did I jump, and it was one on one, and he came in the room. So you, the question is answered. We don't have no issues. Thank you. So, money. I have a question for you. Oh, he dropped him because I'm gonna ask him if somebody was trying to tear down his reputation. What would he do? Right, he set me up coming to this app, so let's not talk about setting up, my boy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted to know. Like, he said, Thank you, you Ari. Okay, that part. <laughs> hey, um, hey, Charlie. Ari, hey, baby. Everyone. Hey, I have, a question. I have a question for Charlie, and I don't think anyone has asked this yet. Um, I want to know when you and please do not kick me. I no, I'm not. Baby. When you got there, was Jalen's door open or closed? Like, because when I saw both sides of the view, it, his door was open once he knocked on your door. So, like, when you got there, was his door opened or closed? Closed. I figured that. So, why is he? Okay, never mind. Okay. So, his door was closed, but I guess he opened it to go knock yeah. on your door. Cause exactly, and my song was playing. Why don't hate when I'm dishing the tea? I'm number one, yeah, yeah, yeah. so he heard me. So he heard the song, okay. and he came and not bothering me oh. and shit. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Jay Money's back. He wants to answer the question y'all posed to him. Okay, uh, for Ari too. Ari, you feel yeah. like how you feel like you played in this situation? Like you a pretty ass girl. I give you that. But how you feel like mm -hmm. you played in the situation? Do you feel like you edged it on or what? Um, Actually, before it got edged on, I tried to save the little boy. I, like I said, obviously, you haven't been listening to the whole situation. 
um, I actually tried to save him and try to put him in another direction. Instead yep. of him tweaking, instead of him doing that, he then goes live and tried to slander my name. So therefore, he got what he deserved. If I edge it on, so I okay. It on so job. do you feel like by him doing that, but Ari, this is the thing. Yes. How the fuck he know where everything was? Like how he know where the place was? Didn't you give addresses and shit though? Um, I get addresses, I get socials, I get everything I need. I'm gonna see. Well, but you gotta answer our question. Saying, girl, you feel be what fair, I'm saying? Though, be girl? fair, but Jay. But you never answer my question, question though. You didn't even answer her question. You coming up here with questions? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Ari. Say it again. No, I told you. I said if someone was on the app and they were trying to ruin your reputation or take away what feeds you, what would you do? I mean, I'll be mad, but I'm not the type of nigga who would set somebody up to do no shit like that, like what happened. Okay, like no, that no, no, boy no. Was okay so up. let me ask you a question. When you say a set up, what you mean set up? Like he ain't expect because that. Like the reason I'm asking you why life. was a set up, why I'm asking you why was a set up, because- Did I expect it? Charlie was inside the room playing the music loud. Charlie then said, everybody go, through somebody else live and hear who hear this music. That's what everybody did. When he realized that, he already knew who was in that room before he went to that oh, room. Oh, he knew it? Already, he knew it already? He knew. Yes, his people he was not on Charlie's door. Yes. I'm yes. on Charlie, I'm on Charlie, I'm on Charlie uh, live, okay. and I'm on I'm his live. The comment said, listen to your background. There's Charlie playing the music. That's what made him go and yep. knock on the door. Oh, okay. So it was never a setup. So I understand you exactly. was out on the outside looking in. That's why I wanted to ask you. Yeah, That's I why. am. I, okay. And to be fair, Jay, the people that egged him on was Leah and Lo. And you see, they're nowhere to help him. So, okay. They should have gave him a new Airbnb if you want to call us out. I mean, I'm just saying, call them out. Too. I wasn't hey, trying to call y'all. I was just talking from what I know, and I, I've like thought. Oh, okay. Talking. But you really gotta go on YouTube, and it's no. I'm not being funny, but for real, for real, catch yourself up, brother. Because it's it's tea. If you want to tech, be technical, edging somebody on was the person that was edging him on to go knock on that door. That's <laughs> exactly. edging somebody on. Knowing, yeah, because no one have to. Been, knock yeah, knowing, right. knowing that you got an issue with this person, and you've been saying you've been making this storyline off of him for the last couple of days. Y'all in the same Airbnb now, and then these bitches who are so so concerned about you doing X, Y, and Z with this person underage, allegedly, so concerned right. about your safety, instead of them saying, get your shit and get the fuck up out of there because Charlie's in the other room, they telling you to go knock on his door and knock go see what's door. up. That's so right. That's so right. I ain't see it from that perspective. That's so right. My bad, y'all. I wasn't trying to get on y'all. I was just trying to understand. I'm like, why would y'all do that? Because y'all don't seem like people who would do that. But all right, I understand. No, at least you being yeah, fair. At least you yeah. open it and listen. Because a lot of people ain't even opening and listen. What's up, fitness guy? I don't know. What's up, what up, brody? Hey, nah, chill out, Ari. Like, chill, chill. But now, nah, Milan, I, I was trying to get in your queue earlier to talk about this. I remember when you said you thought Charlie was, I, I don't want to say you said he was dumb, but he was listening to people. And I guess, you remember when you were saying that? He was dumb? Was Charlie like, was? Well, well you, you, you said that he let somebody bait him in or something like that, correct? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying, I, I felt like Charlie, yeah, yeah. I said, I felt like Charlie was dumb for letting these motherfucking bitches bait him <laughs> into losing his job. Because I feel like he uh -huh. shouldn't have even responded to the retarded boy. He's probably listening to, you know, listening to Lo and Laya. <laughs> you talking about when I was reading oh, Lo and Laya, okay. right? I got right, right. Yeah, and I, and I want to piggyback on that. I, I was going to say, I don't think he's necessarily, like, dumb or whatever. Because, like I said, some people going to die about their respect and die about their name. And I was going to give an example. Say if Charlie had intercourse with a, with a man a week ago, right? And that man hears this man, this other man saying that he has HIV or something like that. You know, Charlie could get killed. That man could could, could charge Charlie up and say, nigga, you gave me AIDS, not knowing that this nigga is just clout chasing it. And, but that's something serious. You understand what I'm saying? So that's mm -hmm. all I wanted to say. I don't think he necessarily somebody bait him in. I think he. Yeah. Was so, so so to fitness guy, for sure, that is, you know, that actually happens on this app. I've seen people, the AIDS, AIDS, AIDS. Um, deaf, 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 stole something, slept with my man. All of these scenarios and storylines come about. But as a person who is a top broadcaster like Charlie is, Charlie is not a fucking Jalen or whatever fuck his name is. Aylin, Jay, whatever. I don't know his name. Charlie is not, you know, half of these bitches in the comments. He's a top broadcaster on this app. So by him going over there and even addressing this person, and making it into an issue 
we I didn't we I didn't necessarily need to see Charlie beat this boy ass. I could have li literally listened to Charlie say, "Bitch, she's lying." Da 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 da. Just like I listened to the boy lie himself. I don't necessarily still, still right now don't necessarily feel like Charlie needed. He he Charlie's me fab. Either. Like yeah, me either. Charlie got his own show on his app. Every he has a, damn near. I think he got a million followers. Hold on, seven hundred no, k like yeah. He didn't have to address this beyond this bitch barely got 5k followers and she just got it off of this Charlie storyline. So that's my <laughs> point. Sometimes you don't have to stoop down to a level to address peasants. Beyonce stays on stage and she goes around and she performs and people pay her to watch her do her job. OK, so yeah, I'm sure there's people in the comments and people in the audience that's probably like, oh, she off today. Oh, that didn't sound right. But she not stopping the music to go address some hater. You know what I'm saying? And I also said in that same sentence, um, Fitness God, I said I almost got tricked out of my position when Morocco never came to my house. He came three blocks down from my house and I went outside looking for him with a gun and with mace and with a knife and all these different shit that I was going to do her, Donna. But then if I would have gotten contact with her, clearly, especially after that fight with Supreme, I would have did her so motherfucking dirty, bitch. Guess who would be in jail right now? Hey, you would have. And, like, so I almost, I know, like, we can't, because it be rooms with 6,000 people and 3,000 people and bitches talking about no shade and you need to go do this and do that and all of that, we let these fucking comments push us to doing shit that we normally, in our right mind, wouldn't do. Because we really, I, I mean, well, I can only speak for myself. I really don't give a fuck. You can't say a fuck ass thing about me. I'm making sixteen thousand dollars a month off of a streaming fucking network. Okay, I live in a big ass eight bedroom house. I'm on fucking TV. I've been on TV three times this year. Is drive fancy cars, wear the best clothes, fuck all the niggas that I want to fuck, bitch. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. Like, bitch, why would I almost lose my life and be sitting up in a fucking cell, or or worse, dead? Because I'm listening heavy, to some bitches heavy. who don't care about me. These hoes don't care about me in real life. These bitches don't care about Charlie in real life. Some of them, most of them. We got our select group of people that really love us and fuck with us. But majority of these bitches could care less. All they want to do is sit up here and watch somebody fight. Sit up here and watch somebody go to jail. Sit up here and watch somebody actually be sick and suffer. That's All what right. they entertain by on this weird ass app. So at this point, it's just like, that was my point. Charlie's too far ahead of the game right now. He's too far ahead to be letting no little punk ass, weird ass, clearly a bitch who motherfucking elevated on go to the top floor, trick him out of his position. Right. Yeah, hey, one more thing, Ari. You see how Charlie beat that nigga up. You keep talking on my name. I'm going to do you like Charlie did him. I'm waiting for, nice I'm wait for you. I'm going to wait for you. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Why? I feel like this is sexual tension. Oh my no, he, God. no, he, no, you know he was he was um the pound dog best friend. So he so he always done started with me oh. since I did what I did the pound dog. Oh, so you was waiting mm. for that? Yeah, I was waiting for him. Okay, hey Haley, um, go ahead. I have a question, two part question: one for Charlie, one from Aaron. Okay, one Charlie, what did you learn from this? All of this? Did you what lesson did you learn? Learn to just continue, like, to try to ignore people. You know, I was trying to ignore it, but it's just certain things that you just can't roll over and die and let people fuck with your name and what you built and worked hard for. Because it's just not me. I provide for my family. I don't have kids. Uh -huh. but, like, I am a breadwinner some type of way for my family. So, yeah. Hmm. So this is kind of fuck with my okay. bag, but yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. And Ari, to like um, jump and help someone, what lesson did you learn from this? Oh, you, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. She said the same question. What lesson did you okay, learn? Okay, can you hear me? This? I can hear it now. Uh huh. Okay, what did she yeah. say? What did she say? Because you was oh, you was ready to you know quick and. and Basically, she's saying you was ready to help the boy Jalen when you first met him. You was quick to jump on and 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 go to bat for him. Um, and now you see the type of person he is. What lesson did you learn from this? That's what she said. 
Um, well, to be honest, um, everybody who knows me is including Milana. I'm a healer, so therefore, I'm not gonna let one person um, doing what they did change what type of heart I have. I'll see it again, and I'll probably still reach out to help that person. However, I will try to observe that person a little bit more before reaching out. But nobody's going to change what type of heart I have. Um, hey, Milan. Um, I don't mean to, you know, get off subject. But no, I'm muted. Um, no, 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 no. Give me my admin back because your family members keep touching me. I don't like that. Okay. Girl, send me a gift, bitch. I got bills, faggot. Okay. <laughs> what wrong with you, bitch? Touch her all y'all want, bitch, until she send me some gifts. Milan Alvin Christopher. <laughs> um, go ahead, uh, thick thighs. Go ahead, baby. What's your what's your question? Hello? All right. But yeah, we don't even see her. All right. Okay, let me see. All right, this one. She got a picture. Oh, no, that ain't you. She look, kind of looked like you. DBFF. What's up, baby? What's your question, Stink a Putt? I just wanted to ask you, Charlie, how does it feel to be the top broadcaster on the app and people still try to maliciously ruin your name in the dirt and they cannot be successful with it and they just have to make up lies. Um, when you're in this position and you do what you do, it comes with the territory. So what would Wendy Williams do? Would not, you know, keep it moving and right. keep being the messy bitch that she is. Period. Right. And, and then make I, have it, one, make her I just have, I'm sorry to cut you off. Go ahead. No, you good. No, that was it, baby. You good. Okay, and I just have one little comment, and I don't understand why you bitches act like if a bitch is slandering your name in the streets or in your face talking shit, you won't beat they motherfucking ass, bitch. I'm from Cali, L.A., Los Scandalous, bitch. You get the talking shit, bitch, we gonna whoop you out where you at, or we gonna come to your house. That's it, guys. Have a good night. Ooh, this right. up. She must be a Gemini. Yeah, because then right. she switch up real quick. Right, <laughs> just like me, just a switch up. I got a question for Charlie too. I'm gonna ask it after this. So I wanna know, like, go ahead, facts. Hey, hey. Okay. So I was in this queue so long I had to write it down. So let me get this up. What's up, Charlie? <laughs> oh, now she wrote it down. I love it. <laughs> it's it in a queue still full with 20 people. In that hole. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So I have a couple statements and a question. First of all, I wish that that cloud chaser would have invested more time in finding a job than trying to come on Beagle and chase clout and play in <laughs> Ari's face like that. Secondly, Ari, um, I really hope you don't change and do not let one bad apple spoil the bunch. Fuck that little nigga. He ain't shit. He ain't never gonna be shit. That's why his ass was in the motherfucking storage room. Mm. Secondly, when you come for somebody, you can never expect how they're gonna react and you can't judge somebody. If you push me and I hit you in the face, you can't tell me shit. You should never put your hands on me. You should never provoke me. You should never did nothing. I say that all the time. I say that all the time. Thirdly, <laughs> let's not forget who started all this shit. So if you guys want someone to blame, please do not blame Ari because Ari came from a good place. We gotta blame Liar's ass and Brandon. Liar was too busy. Okay. Trying her best to bring down Charlie before she would have, you know, took that same time she invested Lowe. that time, honey, and finding her baby daddy with her cemetery walking ass. That bitch be Ooh. walking with a baby cemetery between her motherfucking legs. Okay. And we sick of her. We sick of liar and we sick of her bullshit. So, Damn. me saying mm. all that, this is what I got to say Charlie and Ari. Please. Mm. If there was one thing that you could have did differently today, what would have been? And Milan, let me just give you pause before they answer for being very fair today. Yes, you did your big one, you know. Um, what would you have changed today? If you could uh, have changed one thing. Uh, Charlie, uh, what uh, would you have changed if it was uh, one uh, thing? Oh, me. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I blanked out. Um, Shit, what would I change today? Or damn, I would just change the fact that I knew him. Shit, if I could say that. Mm. God damn. Cloud chases. 
see me popping and want to jump in and enjoy the ride. I get it though. Um, oh, of today. But, okay. Well, I don't really. Yeah, that's um, yeah, I kind of already answered today. It. Um, I don't know, y'all. I would say I would have just tried to ignore it more. But honestly, that's a fake answer, bitch. I did what I had to do. I'm sorry. I don't really know. Okay. Um, I think the only thing I could have changed. <laughs> Which I don't honestly. I feel like even if I would have did it, wouldn't it wouldn't change. But I at some point I mistakenly dropped, um, so I wasn't able to say Charlie, chill the fuck out, like don't even do it. But I I mistakenly dropped, and once I dropped, and I kept trying to get back in the queue, <laughs> he wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, because girl, I did not see you. I was like, where the hell she went? Yeah, I had mistakenly dropped, and I was like trying to get back in the queue. But then at that point, when you told him to like stay out of your face, and you power pushed him into. Bitch, next year, I didn't know what to do, honestly, at that point. I didn't know what to do. You're not a power push, a PP. Baby, you push that boy into the next year. Go ahead, Arbri. Okay. Hey, sis. Hey, y'all. Hey, sis. What's um, up? Hey, Charlie, first I want to say, you you a real one, because when a person go as far as try to assassinate your character, and you know that you can kill them, kill theirs, but you protected theirs, you're you a real one. Oh. Um, second, secondly, because you could have easily flipped that. You could have went and did the same thing, but you know what? Like that's how you know. You know what I'm saying? You like it, it wasn't true. Secondly, Milan and um, sis. Oh well, sis, I already know you, Milan. I know of you. I don't know you like that. But like y'all are real because to me, anybody that um will listen to you know both sides of something, like y'all really care. Y'all really want to see what's going on because most people. Just be like, oh, they said this, this, and that, and just go with the flow. So y'all real for listening to him, taking he, you heard what he said, you know, you heard what he said, and y'all broke it down, so y'all real too. So that's all I want to come here and say. At the Thank end of the day, you. like, yeah. Nah, for real. Love you. Love you too. What'd you say? I said, if she says something nice, thank you, babe. I ain't here. Oh yeah, you hit a banner. Oh, she said that we were just we was real, and um, she basically agreed with like you know your stance, you know, to be able to you know deal with this shit on this app pretty much, and how you approach the right. situation. And he definitely got um, several warnings, not just today. Yeah, I do feel like we got a couple of shady commenters. We did get a couple, and they kind of. But a lot of people just probably scared now. They like, bitch, I don't want to get kicked. You know what I'm saying? So you said you did. Actually, no. I said I got. I get the most. about the tone. Huh? No, no, no. I was talking about to the comment. They said that I went on Big O Kicks and Giggles looking for him. I said no. That's not what happened. They posted a video of him, um, in their storage, shitting inside of a bowl. So the first thing I did was came to Milan and went to all my other supporters and asked them to help him. So bitch, shut the fuck up. Nobody didn't even knew that he knew that boy. Yeah, because I definitely did. And it, it was more so she found somebody standing in the storage that was on Beagle and she like, girl, we got to go help him. And that's kind of what happened. Yeah. Hey, Chosen. Hi, I didn't mean to come up here. I love y'all, all y'all. Well, you know yeah. All right. All right, um, chocolate baby, and you got eight chocolate baby. Can I get a, a shield, a hot air balloon, something? No shade. Go ahead, think about it. All right, hey Sally, do you have any questions? No, Sally went yeah. off on him on Rose a lot. Oh, did he? Sally had okay. with the fuck off. <laughs> Go ahead, Sally. Oh, you call him up in his live. May, may the House of Milan reign supreme. Rain Yo, Charlie, supreme. I, do not, I do not like what they did to you, Charlie. And I told that hey, motherfucker. Sally, oh, baby. And you know, Charlie, you know we love you over here. Um, Milan, Ari, hello, hello, hello. I'm going to see you around, Charlie, so I don't want to... I, I know this shit thing. I just want to say what's up. And I support you. I Thank you, you, baby. Y'all yeah, said, did Milan help him? Yeah, Milan sent him $100. Who y'all mean? Milan, 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 Milan,
Milan, God bless. Yeah, I sent him a cash drop. They said he yeah, needed like, some I, food I, I, or something. Legit, I went to Milan. I went to Milan. Milan came to my life. And Milan gave him a hundred, cash drop him a hundred dollars. That's why I said he could keep on saying like, "Oh, I never did, bitch. I did everything for you, bitch. You raised over like seven hundred dollars that day." And then I was told by, well, not, well, I was told by Ari that he used the money and went to the club or something or went bowling. No, he went to, no, he went to the, he went bowling, bought some eighty dollar cream. Bought some shoes and weed. <laughs> I'm screaming. <laughs> wow. Oh, see, they put it in the comments. <laughs> they saw. Mm. Mm. Hey, John L. Howard. Ari didn't send me to go beat up nobody. Y'all sound so dumb. The person when he was speaking lies on me. This is all about me. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Hey, John L. Hey, Charlie. Hey, hey Charlie, when when I seen that video on YouTube, you know, uh, Smokey and Craig off of Friday, I said, "Damn, no, Charlie, stop, stop, Charlie, stop." <laughs> Yo, I'm done. I love you, Charlie. Have a good night. <laughs> All right, love you too, bro. You too. All right. Um. Any of you hoes got any other questions, comments, and concerns? Um, Sally, are you still here? Because I got a question for Sally. Can y'all hear me? Am I good? Is my connection good now? You uh, good now? Yeah, yeah. You was messing up. I think I'm cool. You was in the blinds, but okay, you, I think you I'm fine now. Yeah, girl, because I'm on my um, my fucking devices was go um. You know how it act when you be on it for a minute. I'm on my iPad now. Okay, so no, they not they they not um big poppy. All right, hold on, y'all. Give me one second. Yes, y'all. This was a good interview. This was cute. Yes. Oh. Anybody want to jump in? Oh shit, Milan. What's up? Hey. You knew that boy was young. I mean, he was 19, but okay. And like I said, I was on Grinder. So 19 is grown. I don't care. They, oh, I don't care. 19 is grown. 18 is grown, bitch. You grown. People sound so stupid. Like, bitch, it was Grinder. What, what the fuck? We wasn't at church. We wasn't interviewing each other. It was Grinder. Sex app, a hookup app, bitch. Like, like a POF type shit or whatever. Mm hmm. All right, I don't. These, I don't. It's so the queue is literally.